something you were first alerting us about for some time now. Have we confirmed just how many tornadoes touched down there yesterday? The weather service is still kind of going through all of the damage that was reported off across our south. But I want to show you this map here just so you can kind of see that we dodged a big bullet here into Michiana. And it was all thanks to our cloud cover yesterday and kind of that mist and drizzle that we had. Uh, the bulk of the severe weather was downstate across southern Indiana and northern Kentucky as well as far southern Ohio. That's kind of where the bulk of the damage was reported from that. Uh, thankfully for today, a lot calmer weather across the Midwest Great Lakes states. It's a return to winter for many of us for today. And that is one of the reasons behind this first alert weather day is the chance of snowflakes mixing on with our rain showers for today. And it's just going to be a downright gross day. I have my comfort index down to a three out of 10 for today. It's going to be cold, windy at times, and yes, again, rain and snow showers. Now, luckily, I want you to pay attention to this graphic here. I want to first alert you to our temperature here. It's going to stay above freezing, meaning road impacts outside of low visibility not expected for today. Yes, we're going to have some wet pavement out there, some low visibility where we do have some of these snowflakes trying to mix on in, but thankfully we're not seeing this temperature around 33, 32 degrees. If we were to see that, that's where we'd be looking at some icy or slushy spots on some of those roadways, but thankfully again, I'm not anticipating that for today. Now, as we head into tonight, can't rely on an isolated slick bridge or two as our temperature will try to get right around 33 degrees, but most of the roads are going to be a okay for this first alert weather day on this Wednesday. And as we head into work for Thursday winds out there. It's pretty gusty right now, and it's going to stay gusty through about the early afternoon hours. And then as an area of low pressure gets closer to us, we're going to see that wind starting to step back just a touch. Future track really not impressive with snowfall amounts. Maybe a quick coating of snow for one or two locations on the grass rooftops and on some of those car wind shields for today. Hour by hour with future track as we go throughout this first alert weather day. I do want to first alert you by late morning. That's when the bulk of any rain showers and snowflakes move on into Michiana. You notice our air temperature well above freezing, so outside of low visibility, not really anticipating much in the way of road impacts. And for the afternoon, we're going to have our temperature right around 40 degrees. Can't roll out maybe an isolated clap of thunder or one of those little balls that kind of looks like dipping dots, what we call grapple. That could also fall as well during the afternoon. And then as we head towards this Wednesday evening, as we start to cool down those temperatures, can't roll out a few snowflakes flying on in. And it would be this evening and early overnight that we'll have to contend with maybe a quick cold of snow on some of those grassy surfaces and rooftops uh, where that does a uh, set up and then for Thursday we just have to contend with some rain showers at times, maybe a few snowflakes that could try to sneak on in there, but a low impact day for Thursday Then I want to first alert you to sunshine, warmer temperatures just in time for the weekend and just check out the second half of that 10 day forecast. Just kind of bypass these three days yeah. and then it's 50s and 60s from here on out. You um, did some investigating by the way when it comes to the cloud cover over the eclipse. So you were saying, hey, there's some people saying this is going to be a cloudy day all day, but you're saying, hold on one minute. Right, That's we've so been true. dissecting the clouds. So, you know, we've got a partly cloudy icon right there, and yeah. it's all going to be determined on that the chance of rain that we saw on Sunday. Yeah. If it moves out quicker, we get the sunshine quicker. If those showers on Sunday delay, come in later, we see the cloud deck sticking around for yeah. Monday. So wow. that's something our first alert weather team will keep watching. But right now we're calling for a partly cloudy sky for that solar eclipse in Indiana. This All is right. what I love about you. He comes back, he's like, guys, there are three layers of clouds. Like we can't just say, I'm just like, okay, Andrew, Calm got down. it. Thank you, we got it. I love it though, how fun. Thank you, Thanks. Andrew. And looking ahead, speaking of the total eclipse, it's going to be at its peak in Michiana at around 3.09 in the afternoon.